Welcome, I'm Christina Whitney, a studio educator at Handy Quilter. Today I want to introduce you to the Flower Power template. If you take a look at this, you can see our template. It's got grid marks along one half and then diagonal lines going through all of the different intersections. And I'm going to show you some different design options that you can make with this new template. Before we get started, I want to remind you of a couple of safety tips with using rulers. First of all, you want to make sure you have a ruler base put on your machine. That gives you an extra surface area here to keep things stable. You'll also want to use the Surefoot. The Surefoot actually has a higher profile which will prevent the ruler from hopping over the hopping foot. So make sure you use those. And then also, if you want to have extra stability with your ruler so it doesn't slide around, make sure you use handy grip on the back of your ruler. Okay, let's move on. Let me show you a couple of different designs that we've done here. This particular design, you can see I've nested it. So you could do that as an all over design. Now what I did was I marked lines on my fabric and then I used my grid line down the center of the ruler and stitched around only halfway and then moved it over and I stitched the bottom just going across and then I just nested them moving up and down. So that's a great option. Let's move over to this section. This was really fun. Using these grid lines again, I lined up with this existing line that I drew on my quilt top and I counted down one two, so two grid lines on that ruler, and that's what I lined up on my, it, the line that I drew, stitched around it, shifted over, stitched around it. On this one, I did the exact same thing, except I used the fourth line down, and you can see the difference that it made just by shifting the ruler down a little bit. This one here looks a lot different. But again, it's the same concept, except I shifted it down to, um, I believe, the seventh line and just stitched around, shift the ruler over. And again, I've got handy grip on this ruler so that the ruler stays in place as I'm doing the stitching. This next design is similar, except that I did all the way across one time, and then I shifted the ruler and did it coming um, the other way. So let me show you that. So say I stitched on the bottom, stitched on the bottom, all the way across, then I came back and this time I'm going to line that ruler up and stitch along the top. And that gives you that nice kind of diamond and circle look there. Okay, another option is similar to that one but using a center line down the middle. So I stitched along the center line and then flipped the ruler over. We'll turn that around so you can see the grid lines and use that same grid line lined up on the same line and just stitched the bottom. Okay. Other fun things that you can do with the flower template ruler is a corner piece. Just sticking the ruler right there in a corner and it just adds a little extra element there. We can also do the entire flower all by itself. And I'm going to actually stitch that out for you here in a minute. But you can see that I stitched one time around that flower, but then I've got this extra layer. A great tip for using rulers is to add the echo foot. So I actually put a different foot on this and stitched around to get that echo. And then I just put a nice little fill there in the center. Over here, I did the same thing with the flower and I repeated it overlapping three times and just went in with different fills and covered that area up. So let me show you some ways or how we are actually going to stitch this out. Let me bring the machine over here. Okay, I'm going to stitch, but just doing the entire flower, so I'm not lining it up necessarily with any grids. 
I'm going to have firm pressure on there, but not so much that I'm pushing on that ruler base. We want to be able to let the machine run smoothly. I'm just going to start stitching. Going smoothly into these low points, if you go too fast, it might kind of jump a little bit and you won't get the nice curves. Okay, make sure you stop the machine when you need to change your hand position. And there you go. So that's our flower power template. Go ahead and use it in motifs, in borders, sashings, and as all overs, and have fun with it.